with its bulletproof shell, lightning fast acceleration, and head turning looks, the Cybertruck is well on the road to becoming an auto icon. It's huge, it's angular, it's boxy. It doesn't even have paint on it. It's just raw stainless steel. It's a radical new design for pickup trucks. But it's also run into trouble, perhaps too much for its six-figure price tag. Pre-orders for the electric truck are through the roof, but it's unclear if the vehicle will ever turn a profit or if it'll do more damage than good to the Tesla brand. We took a look behind the stainless steel panels of the $100,000 Cybertruck to see how much bang owners are getting for their buck. The first pickup truck rolled out of a Ford factory in 1925. And since the 1940s, the design has mostly stayed the same. A cab in the front and a flatbed at the back. Pickups account for one in five vehicle sales in the US. It's a market that Tesla CEO Elon Musk has been eyeing since 2012. When the Cybertruck was unveiled to the world in November 2019, it was a game changer. Even with its broken window. Oh my God. Well, maybe that was a little too hard. All cars basically look the same. You have a hatchback, you have a sedan, you have a full-size SUV in the suburbs. And this is the first thing I've seen in my seven plus years of covering the automotive industry that actually looks different and is exciting. So whether you love or hate it, I think there's a little bit of people paying attention to something new on the roads. What stands out is the Cybertruck's exoskeleton of stainless steel. Something not seen since the days of the DeLorean. Each panel is formed using a technique called air bending which uses air at very high pressure to shape the tough steel. It's also bulletproof, up to a point. I am very satisfied with how bullet resistant the Cybertruck is. It works on nine mil, 22, anything faster than that, and there's gonna be a hole. I don't know how many trucks on average get shot at every year, but I guess for the right person who has $100,000 to spend on a truck, Bulletproof is certainly something they're looking for. Tesla has kept the research and development costs of the Cybertruck under wraps, but company-wide R&D spending shot up in 2023. The electric vehicle was the first to be built at Tesla's brand new Gigafactory in Texas, which Musk said cost more than $10 billion to build. It's a whole new line to build vehicles on. Every single bit of it seems like a very expensive input. It's not like he could take something from the Model 3 line, the Model S, the Model X line, and put it on this truck. It's all very custom built and very expensive to make. The release of the Cybertruck was delayed by four years because of supply chain issues and the company making changes to the truck along the way. Some thought it was so ambitious, it would never see the light of day. Even Elon Musk wasn't optimistic. I mean, we dug our own grave with Cyber Cybertruck, you know. You know, Cybertruck is one of those one of those special products that comes a, along only once in a long while, and and special products that come along once in a long while are just incredibly difficult to bring to market, to reach volume, to to be prosperous. When the Cybertruck finally did hit U.S. streets, the price of the triple motor Cyberbeast, Tesla's top range model, had gone up from sixty one thousand to a hundred thousand dollars. There's a few things in there. Materials costs have got way higher, and I think Elon is in a tricky situation with margins, too. Another change since the 2019 launch event is the vehicle's range. At the time, Tesla boasted a range of 500 plus miles, far better than any other EV on the market at the time. Today's Cybertruck has a maximum range of 440 miles when using a battery range extender sold separately. Without one, that reduces to 320 miles. However, owners are saying they're not getting anywhere near that range. But what's been grabbing the most headlines isn't how far it can drive, but how fast. Three, two, one. For their $100,000, owners of the Cyberbeast have a pickup capable of doing zero to 60 miles per hour in 2.6 seconds, according to Tesla. That's as fast as high-end sports cars. Tesla promotional videos show a Cybertruck out accelerating a Porsche 911, while towing a Porsche 911. It's got about 845 horsepower, it has torque vectoring at the rear, and uh, it's absurd. When YouTuber Marcus Brownlee got behind the wheel, he was impressed by the power. Holy 
Just come on. Well, as I'm in the driver's seat, that's gonna be this new 18 and a half inch touchscreen in the center, biggest ever in a Tesla. It's also their biggest ever car. Performance and gadgets aside, owners and onlookers have noticed that not everything is quite going to plan. Yes, it climbs steep valleys, but viral videos show Tesla's Cybertrucks getting stuck in the snow. Others reveal large gaps between the stainless steel panels. Like even just this huge front piece here has a little bit of like wavering. It's not quite a perfect flat line. And Pharrell Williams demonstrated that parking can be a little tricky too. It's certainly not a good look for the Cybertruck to be struggling to do truck stuff in the very first months after it got launched. Keep going. It's no surprise that such a heavy, fast, angular truck is a concern for pedestrian safety experts too. Advocates are really worried that it's just another really unsafe vehicle on American roads that are known for being super deadly to begin with. In fact, the Cybertruck's sharp edges don't pass current European safety regulations, and its weight is also a problem. At over four tons, it's too heavy for a standard EU driving license, requiring owners to get a truck license instead. There's also concerns over the Cybertruck's environmental footprint. Yes, it's emissions-free on the road, but its massive battery pack requires metals like lithium, graphite, and nickel, all of which come from complex supply chains with a track record of human and environmental exploitation. The delayed launch of the Cybertruck means it's entering an already crowded EV pickup market, having to compete with the likes of Ford's electric F-150, Rivian's R1T, and the GMC Hummer. Meanwhile, Tesla has competition when it comes to global sales. Chinese company BYD overtook Tesla for the first time, selling more cars in the last quarter of 2023. If pre-orders are anything to go by, the Cybertruck may yet prove a hit. By March 2024, a reservations tracker estimated the number of pre-orders at over 2.2 million. It's really hard to say if all these pre-orders for the Cybertruck are actually going to materialize. There's a huge difference in sending a refundable $250 and then shelling out 100,000 more for a truck. It'll be really interesting to watch how Elon talks about the demand going forward. If you sell the higher margin Cybertruck first, it's gonna make it a lot easier to make new ones and keep selling them. If you were to sell the bare bones truck with a tiny margin, that's not gonna leave you much room for error and it's not gonna turn around the profits that investors expect at this point. To turn a profit, Musk needs as many pre-orders of the top range cyber beasts as possible to convert to sales. I think if you asked a lot of Tesla investors, it's been a huge distraction. But like many of Musk's businesses, like SpaceX, Starlink, and X, formerly Twitter, controversy may well be part of the business plan. The Cybertruck was able to give Tesla a ton of earned media and like basically free advertising, so it keeps the brand fresh. It reminds people Tesla still exists, even as a ton of competitors from all over the world hit the market. It's likely the Cybertruck will keep turning heads and making headlines, especially while engineers push the boundaries of what qualifies as a pickup.